Let's yes. do it. All right, guys. Welcome. Welcome back. I am so excited and so honored to be next to these two women. This is Nava. Hi. If you follow the podcast, you have seen our videos that we've done before, and this is my sister, Melanie. Hi. And we <laughs> thought we would just do a little sit-down video. I, I don't even... Well, the Lord will lead, but... We're, just, <laughs> we're, we're going to talk about marriage. Yes. Yeah. Our favorite, our favorite subject. Yeah. Well, one of our favorite subjects. I think the most needed subject yeah. to be talked about right now. Yeah. Um, and we just want to ignite a roar inside women Come to on. just fight for the marriage, to yeah. fight, to fight. I feel like so many women just sit and let life happen and it's yes. like, get up and go fight. Don't give fight. up mm -hmm. on your marriage. No. So we, I love that. Um, do you want to give a quick little background of you? How long you've been married? How many yes. kids you have? Okay. In case anyone's new. Sorry, I need to look at the middle. <laughs> I'm learning this. Um, okay, we've been married, my husband and I, Emmanuel is his name. We've been married for, I, why do I not know this? I guess four years, 2019. Um, and we have two boys. One is one month younger than Evangeline, her mm -hmm. youngest, mm -hmm. and Zavin, he's three and a half. And we live in Israel. We did live in America for a while, but now we live in Israel. So the fact that she's in Michigan right now is yeah. It was so random. <laughs> it is so crazy. Literally messaged her like, <laughs> I think a month ago. Maybe it was yeah. three weeks ago. Yeah, and I was like, are you home? Really like, what are you doing? Notice. I'm going to be in Indiana if you want me to come hang out. And here we are. Mm -hmm. Hanging out. Mm -hmm. And we surprised you, which was pretty epic. Yeah. I had no idea. Good job, guys. And it took you forever to get in the house. <laughs> Literally, we were waiting for like 30 minutes. Mom was like unloading her plants. <laughs> yeah, I know. Getting dirt. <laughs> We were like standing in position for a video and then we're like, whatever. <laughs> Let's just like, she started cleaning the dishes. She did so much. I know, right I outside. started just cleaning. <laughs> Sorry guys. I, I just okay. moved in. I, I'm moving home from college, so I have to come back. Yes. Let's tell us about you real quick. So I am not married yet, but um, soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I, I just want to say, I want to preface this by saying anything that I speak today, I want to really come from a pace of humility. Because obviously I'm not married. I have not lived through these things. I don't have actual experience in marriage, obviously. But I just want to share, like, I, I'm just sharing what God has shown me. Because he has been preparing me for marriage for the past almost three years. Um, just teaching me so much, convicting me so much, and transforming me so much. And changing my mind completely. Um, because my mind was so skewed about marriage and about men and about um, husbands and all the things. So, um, yeah, I just want to say that's, that's where I am sharing from. That's my heart. That's yeah. so good. Yeah. Well, well are you married? Uh huh. We're gonna be married for six years. <laughs> wow. Next month. Wow. Isn't that crazy. That is crazy. I've the fastest six years of my life. There's been a lot that's happened in six years, and I feel like just recently the Lord has really just took me by the shoulders and was like, "Wake up." <laughs> yeah. <I love laughs> because it. for the longest time, I feel like I was doing exactly what the world does. Mm -hmm. Like our marriage looked no different than any other. How? Random couples guys cheat. I don't know. I feel like it just wasn't like There's okay marriages like we were fine. Like we didn't want to kill each other. We you know, we didn't mm -hmm. we didn't throw around the D word Yeah, it was just Okay, and I was like Should that's what, not the, the D word is divorce. You know? Oh, yeah, sorry the D, <laughs> the D word is divorce, which is not something you should ever <laughs> throw or manipulate at. Yeah, so um for the longest time, it was just okay. And I was like, this just is not the type of marriage I want to have. I want to have the type of marriage that makes Satan... It's thriving. Yeah, that's thriving and makes Satan pissed. Because he's like, those two together are going to do so much for the kingdom, and I really yeah. hate it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, that's the kind of marriage we... And that's not what we had. And so, yeah, we just kind of started taking those steps. And we're obviously oh. not... Like, I will be the first to say I'm, like, a horrible wife. Like, I can... Not a good wife. Like, it's so easy. I can admit that. Right now? No, I have in the past. I've not been a good wife. Okay. And I feel like the Lord's constantly yeah, showing me say. how I'm not. Like, mm -hmm. he's constantly showing me. Every time I'm like, okay, I think I got this. He's like, that's no, so, you don't. We still so have to fix true. this, 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 and this. And I'm like, that's so okay. I can testify to that, for sure. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like that's just been... Sorry, we're supposed to be... That's just where I've been at. Wait, so I feel like I feel like I want to share something. Yeah. So um, the Lord actually just showed me this last week. I feel like I kind of knew it, but He really like pointed it out to me. So 
I mean, obviously we know like the entire point of marriage, like the whole reason there is marriage is to show, it's to sh it's for God to show us the type of relationship he wants to have with us. Cause mm -hmm. like the Bible says that like Jesus Christ is our husband and like we are, he's our bridegroom and we're his bride. Mm -hmm. And so like the whole point of marriage is to show God like the type yes. of relationship that we're supposed to have with Jesus. And also like the whole it's point so of like God the Father is to show us a relationship that we're supposed to have with our children. So yes. it's like every part of the Trinity is like represented. I, in yeah. And so that's the whole entire point of marriage is like, it's not for us to just have fun. It's like for the glory of God and to exalt him. It's mm. for us to better understand the relationship we're supposed to have with him. Mm. So. Which is hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not easy. And I, I hate referring to marriage as work. I know so many people mm. do, but I'm like, I feel like I'm so passionate about telling people do not call it work. Because once you mm. see what do you it call as it? work, that's what it is. Mm. It's a job. Mm -hmm. And marriage is not a job. Mm. It's a life. Mm -hmm. It's your it's your person. Mm. Yeah. Like, I don't know, when you go on dates, you don't say, I'm going to work. Like, it's a date. <laughs> it's something you wait all day after work to go to. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like the second, some, like, you turn, you turn that page over to marriage and you're like, wow, it's work. And then, like, having sex is work. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, there's a, like a task or to do or... Yeah, and the second you put that label over it, that's what it becomes. Mm -hmm. It becomes work. Mm -hmm. And so I've yeah. always encouraged people to be like, don't call it work. What don't you, give what, a name for it. What would be a word that you would use to describe marriage? Or what would you say is like the word that would, that you see it as, that like defines it for you guys? You can think on that. That's so like good. That. <laughs> I, yeah, I have to think about that. Because... I want to say this as well. So many times, I'll put like a question up about marriage and then I'll have on Instagram and so many people will be like, what's the hardest part about marriage? I get that question all the time. Yeah. And I, I genuinely, genuinely, I mean this from my heart. I'm not saying this to like sound like the perfect Christian girl because I'm really not. But I'm so passionate about how I talk about my husband and I really protect him. But anyways, I don't know. I genuinely don't know the hardest part about marriage. You don't, I don't think, don't think about, about that. It. I you don't focus on all the other yes, stuff. Yes, I could sit if you tell me what do you love about Manuel. I could sit here and tell you like mm -hmm. I, there's a million things I could say about him that I love. Mm -hmm. But if you say like what do you not like about him, it's just like it would take me time. Like, to why are you sit, asking me? Why out. do you want me to sit here and think about that? Like mm -hmm. why do we feel? And I know that we want to know what's what's easy and what's hard and what's yeah. this. We want to be able to categorize things. But the beauty of it is just letting God walk through it with you mm -hmm. and not being like okay, first year of marriage is gonna be like this. Five years years mm -hmm. in marriage, first baby's like this, first month of postpartum's like this. No, mm -hmm. learn from women you love and don't spend time with the people that are constantly speaking negatively about it. Because if you look at anything yeah. a certain way, <laughs> if you look at children as burden, they'll be a burden. Exactly. If you look at marriage as work, it'll be your work. Yeah. But if you look at your husband as your best friend yeah. mm -hmm. and the sexiest man alive, like I constantly, that is what I call him in my mind. Because yeah. that's who he is to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know people have taken sex and used it different way but yeah. to me like he is my person mm -hmm. so no I, I don't know what the hardest thing about marriage is and I want to always stay like that because mm -hmm. I'm always looking at the beauty of what we have yeah. we have something so special mm -hmm. and there are things I could sit and think about him but I can tell you a lot quicker how what I love mm -hmm. about him yeah. what I love about marriage. and that's a beautiful habit yeah, I think it's a, a lot. Yes. It's a yes. lot of habit. So do. let me like preface back to when I was saying like I was not a good wife. Still, am getting sanctified in that. Like, it was habits. It was habits that I built in the beginning of our marriage when I was 20 years old and I had no idea what I was doing. And or all I saw. cared about or was myself. Yeah. yeah. And like it truly, mm -hmm. it's about, it was all, all I cared about was myself. He's not helping me. He's not doing this. He's not doing that. I'm doing more. All I cared about was my flesh and what I wanted. And so I wasn't trying to serve him. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to mm -hmm. help him. Yeah. And the second you make it about them and not you, when you're content in that, when you're not focused on, like he's this, this, and this, yeah. he should be this, this, and yes. this, and you do focus on what he is. Yeah. Like men, I feel like this has been a theme we've said this whole weekend, men are simple. They're yeah. so simple. They're simple, y'all. And they're they're visual. not asking, they're simple in their visual, which like, well, we can probably get into that a little bit later, but they, it's not like, like Jordan's not asking me to scrub the baseboards on my, like Jordan, like does not ask. Like I can't they really do like, yeah. Literally, like, I feel like half of the time it's, like, me wanting to go above and beyond to do that. And it's, like, he quite literally just did not even ask me to do the yeah. ten things that yeah. I just did. Yeah. 
it was my own doing. Yeah, yeah. So it's like they're really not, and they're so easy to please. Mm -hmm. Like for the most part. Yes, for like more simple things. Like I'd say, like in the mundane of life, like it's really easy to excite them at something. Yeah. You know, like yes. if they find out you're wearing lingerie underneath your PJs, they're like, whoa! Like yeah. you know, <laughs> their whole week yeah, is tell them, tell them your just... apron. Oh. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> It's so cute. I feel like that's what we're supposed to do marriage. Really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was, because y'all know I've been into baking now, and so I've been wearing my apron so much, and one day I was making dinner, and like my pants, I was wearing leather pants, and they were just <laughs> pissing me off, and I was like, I just need to take these off. So I literally took them off, but I was still wearing my apron, and you could like kind of see like my butt speaking through just a little bit, like in the back. It probably Hello. looked like a grandma at the nursing home or something. <laughs> <laughs> To the hospital. <laughs> the open back. <laughs> That's essentially what I was like. But to him, he was like, whoa! Like, he just, like, did not. And he got so excited. It. He so just, I like, he never, he'll rarely, like, sit and watch me cook. He oh. sat and watched me cook for 45 minutes. Like, <laughs> stop. He, and it was so sweet because I was I like, we're just spending time together. And, yeah. like, it was That's so, so how, how easy. How yeah, easy how that? easy. And like how fun. Like, yeah. like your friend. Yeah. Like you're hanging out with your best friend. Yes. Like, why did you marry that person if yes. you're just going to hate on them your yeah. whole life? Yeah. Why did you get married then? I love that. You know, like, ugh. And we're not trying to say that men are perfect. That is not what we're saying. No. This we're video is about us. what we're doing. Exactly. This video is about us yeah. as yeah, wives. This is geared towards women. We're not going to we speak could, for men. That's yeah, no, we're not. That's our husband's job to speak yeah. to the men. We're they, speaking to the They're women. working through whatever they're working through on a daily yeah. basis just like we are. Mm -hmm. And we don't think they're perfect and they're not always doing it there. We're not. That's not. But it's about us. It's we about what God's convicting what us do. in. Mm -hmm. In living in 2023 where we're called, like, women are need to be this and this and this and that and they're not this and this and we're just trying to stay low and like what did god call us to be mm. yeah and mm. it's not about religion mm. at all mm. yeah. like i hate religion mm -hmm. i want to love my husband so well that jesus radiates off of me to him mm. and then he's like wow i can go to work today and nail whatever i'm doing because i have a supportive wife mm. that i can come home to and even if i lost all her money and all this she would still be in there with him mm. Mm. so it's like i don't know i feel like that's the goal yeah. of like how do we love these men so well mm -hmm. that they stop watching porn that mm. they stop doing this how do we raise that a feel, family yeah. that is on fire for god mm. but not just talking about it because you could talk all you want but live like mm. when you walk in you know when you walk into a home and it just like you feel safe you feel mm. like there's light the air is clean like mm. and you can walk into homes where you feel so anxious and you feel yes. so much anxiety yeah. so all that cultivating stuff, the home cultivating the home for your husband like this is mm. so important yeah i could yeah. go on about that yeah our impact i'm so glad i'm <laughs> I know before this video started, I was, I was like, I'm just gonna flip to First Peter three because I feel like we're gonna end up. With <laughs> but just because what you just what you just said, like, um, the wives has such a large influence in the home, but especially mm -hmm. in their husband's life. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just referring to First Peter three where it says, in the same way, you wives must accept the authority of your husbands. Then even if some refuse to obey the good news, so if their husbands that aren't following the Lord who aren't saved. Your godly lives will speak to them without any words. Mm -hmm. They will be won over by observing your pure and reverent life. So what mm -hmm. you were just saying, like, you can literally influence your husband so much, and it, so much but it's not by nagging him. It's not no. by complaining. It's not by telling him what to do. It's not by, like, controlling the home and manipulating mm -hmm. him and being all these things. It's mm -hmm. like, without, your, la your godly lives will speak to them without any words. Like, you don't have to say anything. And that's actually so freeing because it's actually not your job to change your husband. It's only your job to live a reverent life. And they will literally the will be won over without a word. Like, the word of God doesn't come back void. Like, it will happen. It's it says so it right true. there. Okay, I have a story. Um, <laughs> story time with Nala. I literally wrote down things this morning. My kids woke up early. Well, no, sorry. They didn't wake up early. And I was able to just sit and think about mm -hmm. what are some things that, I, that God has really spoken to me about marriage. And so, um, this is so practical. He always like throws his towel over, over the, the door, over the door, over, like over things. And like for me, oh, I'm just like, <laughs> put a towel where it's supposed to be. It's like not that hard. That's where the towel goes. Mm -hmm. And we, granted, we don't have hooks because they keep falling. But I was like, it, he kept doing it and I was getting so annoyed. And I was like, I know the enemy is just trying to get in here because it's, mm. 
because then I get annoyed at him at this. And once you let, it's interesting, once you let the enemy like, or your mind or yourself get pissed off about one thing, suddenly it's like that thing and that thing and that thing. And next thing you it's know, like it's a, a whole day. Effect. You're like, and you're everything all he's of doing is annoying. And bitterness brew in you. Yes. And it's like, why don't, what is, it's what not, is the It's not the reality of life. Like, I genuinely love living with this human being. Yeah, it's so anyways, he kept doing that with the towels. And I felt like the Lord was just like, just do it. How long does it take me to take a towel and put it in another place? How long does it take? It takes You're like, how long does it take Emmanuel to do it? God's like, how long does it take yeah. you to do it? <laughs> and I feel like God in that moment was like, this is what love is. And I was like, oh, oh this is so good. Because I say, we lay down at night and I'm like, I you love first you. Corinthians. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I love you, babe. And that's a word. These are mm. just words. But in that moment. But did you during the day? Exactly. What did, you do? What did I do that actually made a difference? And it was interesting because like I waited. I didn't say anything for a while. And then uh, I remember one day I felt peace. I, I actually told him, I was like, hey, I just went. And when, when I wasn't frustrated about it. I was like hey can yeah. you can you not do that can you or not not do that can you put the towels here and he was like yeah sure and I wasn't mad about it he wasn't mad about it mm -hmm. but then he started sometimes doing it again oh, okay I was gonna say sometimes they don't even notice yeah well yeah. I don't know why that like it was just such a pinpoint the enemy always tried to come in and so then the Lord over was like towel. over a towel and then the Lord was like don't mention it again mm -hmm. serve him mm -hmm. this is where your love speaks louder than words mm -hmm. where you just do it and you take that and like Men, I call them, they shed. They shed their clothes. And my husband's very organized, so I'm, <laughs> so I'm blessed. But it's like these little moments that we have that like in that moment where the enemy's trying to come in and say, mm -hmm. he does that, does not annoy you, be like, I love it. Like, like bless him. Like come mm -hmm. in the opposite thing. And when you take mm -hmm. the towel and everything in you is like, why? Just be like, <laughs> I love him. Or just like, God, I pray for him right now at work. God, I pray that you give him wisdom. God, I pray that you give him creativity. Amen. God, I pray. Like coming, not just resisting it, but coming in the opposite spirit. Because there's so much strength to that. Because mm. God sees in that moment that we're not trying to just step into that, but actually mm. work in the opposite spirit. And I almost think it has a double portion push on it. Because it's wow. harder. You what what if he mean? leaves his that's clothes around so the house true. so that when you have to pick it up, that's a reminder of God telling you to pray for him in yes. a certain area. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Or like exactly. when I, there was a season when I was breastfeeding so Evangeline good. that I was like, oh, like, I just, like, I love this moment. But I was like, I also like have a lot of other things to do. And I was like, no, why don't I take every time I breastfeed her? Why don't I just pray for her? Yeah. Or why don't I pray yes. for my other kids? Yes. And like, I took that time, like, I think it's like yeah. still beautiful to breastfeed, but I like, I took that time and I was like, I'm not going to see it as me that. being trapped on the couch. I'm going to see no, it as a time to like intentionally pray. Yeah. So I yeah. feel like we can do that with literally everything. When you're putting away your kids' clothes yeah. and you're folding them, yeah. putting them away, praying yes. for what they're going to be doing when they're like praying yes. over them when they're wearing that. Oil, to be or honest. your husband's kids would be clothes. healed when they touch them. Yeah. Yes. Like your husband's clothes as yes. you're putting them away or the dishes, like whoever's yeah. going to be eating these dishes yes. and like, Whoever, not the dishes, but like off the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> like with what, like literally you can cultivate such a beautiful Holy Spirit filled home in these little tiny tasks. Like oh. there is so much joy. That's, in how, the that's how you pray without ceasing. That is how. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. And you can it's find so much contentment in that. Because I feel like a lot of women It'll are be so, so discontent in the season that they're in and they're longing yeah. for the next and the next and the next. And it's like, if you cannot find contentment and joy yeah. in this season, That's you so won't be able won't. to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I learned that really well through my friend Gabby and Dylan mm -hmm. when they had their twins. Like, you would never have expected yeah, that they were so going true. through such a traumatizing, hard season because they would walk into the room with such joy yeah. and I would not be able to point them out as a couple who has a baby in NICU that's Absolutely like not. on the ver like they don't sleep because when you have twins you're like literally no and they're getting sleeping. woken up in the middle of the night to consent to these surgeries and all this stuff and it's like you would have no Sorry. idea because they they're they're they so much they're peace. solid their rock is right. Jesus so like it ain't moving it's yeah. a boulder yeah. It's a boulder. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> Do you have a boulder in your house? That's so like, good. Like, what is your boulder? You want sand? Yeah. yeah. Um, I saw this thing yesterday, <laughs> and I just thought it was great. Because I feel like something that I constantly try to do is, like, ask myself questions. Because a lot of the times, it's like, I essentially know what I should be doing. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, am I gonna choose to do that? Like, you know what you should be doing, but are you actually doing those things? Yes. I feel like in the beginning of the, my marriage, it was like I genuinely didn't know what I was supposed to be doing and I just wanted to feed my flesh. But now it's like I know what I should be doing and it's like, all right, am I being obedient to that? Mm -hmm. But I found this on Pinterest yesterday. Bless Pinterest, because I thought this was great. How can a foolish woman destroy her home with her own hands? 
mm -hmm. by always nagging, complaining, disrespecting her husband and disencouraging him, which I feel like is huge, which is like kind of what you were talking about. Like yeah. you speak and think the highest of yeah. your husband. Yeah. Um, and that's true. Jordan says that all the time. He's always like, I only care what you think of me. Or like, I only Aww. care what, well, how that's you so perceive me as yeah. a dad or this yeah. is that. I'm like, that's crazy. It is. Their entire it, manhood yes. is like, that's what it's been on. Is like, how does my wife yeah. see me? Yeah. So I like that's knowing huge. that I try to like use words of affirmation all the time yes. to like wow. help him in that. Being selfish and easily angered, refusing to admit she's wrong and blaming others for her own mistake. This was me. I like wanted to be right no matter what. And it's so stupid. It's oh, so, so much like it that. was okay. Putting her husband down when talking to others and gossiping about his shortcomings. This is huge. Um, not correcting her children by letting them do whatever they please, being lazy and unproductive with her time, mm -hmm. living in constant worry and fear, being discontent and consumed by self-pity, and threatening with divorce when she doesn't get her way. Ooh, um, sounds like Jezebel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I see it. <sighs> yeah, and I wanted to run, do we want to touch on like being lazy and unproductive? I could, can I, can I say something about, about, yeah. I just want to say something about, um, what you just said about, I say this every time, but I feel like I need to say this on this video too. Mm. That is why prayer walking is so important. Mm. Getting rid of like that spirit that gets so thick around the house of mm -hmm. like, I'm able well, to pray walking around the house. Yes. Mm. Like just getting up and praying and releasing God's presence into your home. Mm -hmm. Cause again, I feel like neither of us are trying to tell women to be like, like these robots, right. like do this, do that, do this. But like, God is literally calling us higher. And if we could step into a place of being higher, we're yeah. actually inviting other women to be like, if I could do it, you could do it. Yes. Because we're as broken as anyone. Yes. We're as needy as anyone. Mm -hmm. But there's this place and this invitation that if we do it well as mothers, we can also help other mothers get to that place. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know. That's why I prayer walk my home. That's why I pray for my husband in the middle of the night. Sometimes when I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm like, thank you, God, that I'm up. Everyone's asleep, but I had this sweet moment with mm. you that I get to cover my husband. Mm. And in that place, like so many times, or even on this trip, because we've been like co-sleeping in like a queen bed. <laughs> and so Emmanuel's been sleeping like with his, with one of our boys with their head at the bottom of the bed and his feet are like in my face. I'm like, <laughs> you know, you can get so pissed off in that moment, but I was like, God, thank you. Like I have this moment where I get to anoint my husband's feet. Mm -hmm. Like that's such a Ruth moment. Mm -hmm. And of like, I get to just bless this man that loves and gives everything for our family. Mm -hmm. And I know in some situations, I get so many messages sometimes being like, but my husband isn't as easy to love. Like he's going out, he's going to strip clubs, he's going this. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm like, even more so, get up mm -hmm. and pray for your house. Mm -hmm. Get up and pray that when he gets in the door, he's even able to so. feel the presence of God mm -hmm. so much that he feels convicted about those things. Mm -hmm. Or that he's, you're able to go and mm -hmm. like literally touch his phone while he's sleeping and bless it. Pray mm -hmm. for it. Pray for wisdom that he won't be able to watch porn. Mm -hmm. And not from you saying, stop doing that. Stop like, okay, can I say one more thing? Go for it. What are you, I, you don't need to ask. I can keep going. This is my favorite Go. subject. Okay, so I feel like a few years ago, um, we talked about this so much. Or no, not a few years ago. In the last year, God has been speaking to me so much about the importance of my tongue. The importance of like speaking life over my husband. Mm -hmm. And so many times, my husband will have sometimes low blows. And um, the Lord is just like, don't say anything. Don't say anything. And it's so beautiful because he speaks so particular to me because he has to be quick because we're so <laughs> quick to answer. And I'll just feel like this heaviness inside me of just like, be still now, but don't say anything. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like washing the dishes or doing something and I'll just be like, I'll just breathe. It's so easy to want to hang the towel over and be like, yeah, what did you just say? <laughs> or I've been taking care of the kids. I've been doing this. Ugh. What have you done? And it's just like you get that into that place so easily, but the Lord's just like, stay stay quiet mm -hmm. and in that moment I'll start praying and nothing in me wants to pray or nothing in me wants to be quiet I want to like I don't know I want your flesh you want like... to protect yourself yeah and in that moment he's on one team I'm on the other team he is mm. you're not what? Lakers and I am mm. like the Bulls no, <laughs> don't ask me about don't, that don't know nothing <laughs> about basketball <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys a reference he's on one team I'm on the other team in that moment we're against each other but as I stay quiet I'm like okay just stay quiet. And sometimes I don't pray. Sometimes I'm just coming up with every mean word in my head. And I'm like, 
this is awful. And the Lord will just like slowly, like it just takes a moment and I'll just keep doing whatever I'm doing. And then 10 minutes later, I'll, I'll give myself a pat on the back and I'll be like, <laughs> thank you for not saying anything because I don't know, we can just laugh about something else. Mm. And 10 minutes before, I was about to go out on him about how he hasn't done this and this and this and this. Would have ruined the whole day. And it would have ruined the whole day. I would have had one less day with my best friend. Oh. And like, life is so fragile. Like, that's what I'm learning too. Like, life is so fragile. And every single day we get with our husband is such a blessing. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, thank goodness. I'll say to myself later, like, thank goodness I didn't say anything. Because we're, when I stay on the same team with him, and the enemy's like trying to get me to go on the other side mm -hmm. and go against each other and the Lord's like, no, get behind him. Mm. You're called to love him. So I just get behind him and say, okay, we're on the same team. Mm. We're on the same team. He's on my team. When we stay on the same team, we win. Mm -hmm. We'll win every time. Mm -hmm. Because that's Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. He's already, he's victorious. He did it. But if I stay humble and I'm like, no, I'm going to get behind him and cheer him on. Mm -hmm. And even a couple minutes later, I'd be like, babe, I love you so much. Like, that is not That easy. is how they're won over by observing your pyramid. Exactly. Yeah. And in that moment, he's able to be like, wow. And I didn't say anything. And you know yeah. what? If you learn how Without to any words. tame your tongue, <laughs> I can do it with friends now. I can do it with my mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. oh, I can do yeah. it with my own sister of like something being said. And the Lord's just like, no, but be quiet. And I've learned to be like, okay. Mm -hmm. And it gets yeah. easier and easier and easier. Mm -hmm. And I know Emmanuel feels the love of the Father through that. Yeah. Oh, that's just so great. good. For love covers them all too, since. It, it does. It covers. Because he wasn't necessarily right. We're not talking about right and wrong. No. He could have said a serious low blow that Yeah. But that's not your job. No. He will feel convinced and a lot of, he'll come back to me and say, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. And when it comes from him saying he's sorry instead of being like us bickering at each other and getting yeah, into a like fight. You and nag then, him into an apology yes, type exactly. of situation. And he'll yeah. come back in, come back and say, Yeah, I'm so sorry that wasn't in the right place. Mm -hmm. And I go back, I love you. It's okay. Mm -hmm. That's so. beautiful. But I saw this thing on Pinterest and it says that our children are watching, but I think this just applies to anyone that's in our home. We can pray or complain. Right. You can walk by faith or walk by fear. You can entertain joy or worry. You can choose to be kind or you can choose to be rude. You can display patience or impatience. You can slow down to listen or accuse. You can show grace or cling to bitterness. You can confess your sins or make excuses. Isn't that insane? That's so and I feel like this just kind of goes back to 1 Corinthians 2 of like, what love is and this should be i feel like every house needs this like up everywhere yeah. because truly like if this isn't like what is love like mm -hmm. just ask yourself that like yeah. what what do you think is your definition of love what do you think your husband's definition yeah. of love is and if it's not this then it needs to be thrown in the trash because I would say that. <laughs> it's doesn't matter like was your love story birth in hollywood or in yes sure. yes is when we like, were at XO, mm -hmm. he was saying that. He's like, where do you get your definition of marriage? Yeah. Because God makes it very clear in the very beginning of the Bible what marriage is. Yeah. Like, did you get it from The Bachelor? Did you get it from a movie you watched? Yeah. Did you get, where yeah. Where did you get it? Because yeah. if you two don't see eye to eye in this, it's going to be really hard yeah. to have a good marriage if you don't even have the same definition of what that means. Yeah. 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 Like, it's crazy. But love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. <laughs> it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice. Irritable or resentful. I feel like we need to just sit in silence for that one. For a <laughs> it's not irritable or resentful. That's hard. Okay. You gotta take some of your place too. My favorite's coming up. I live my life. Keep some record of wrong? Yes. That's what yours do. Wait, it, it does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hope all things, endures all things. Love never ends. In the NLT, it says love keeps no record of wrongs. I think I think that's the one that I'm literally gonna have plastered in every single. You room get tattooed on house. your forehead. Yeah. It that and that one's the hardest. Like I remember when we were when me and Mano started dating, and he, I was like, "How many girls did you sleep with?" And um, and he was like, "We talked about it, and it was." I'm sure he'd be fine with me saying this, but he had he was with quite a lot of girls, and I remember the Lord being like, I, "You do, don't hold that against him." That's mm. not that's not your place to hold it against mm. him. And it was so beautiful because so many times I had like this moment of being like, but you, but your past is that. Like you did mm. that. How are you coming in? Like, I don't know. There's so many moments where the Lord was like, he's new. Don't touch it. Love Ooh. keeps no record of wrong. And then into marriage, you start working of like little stuff. Like I did the dishes three days in a row or like this is, and then I'd be like, well, you said that the other day and the Lord's like, no, that's cleansed. That's mm. keeping your mouth shut is also 
And I mean that in a very, like, I feel like people could take me so wrong with when I say keep your mouth shut. Because, like, there's also a place for you to speak up for yourself. There's also a place for you to say, no, that's not right. Mm -hmm. There's also, there's room for that. And there's room for it when you're not angry. Right. Because you'll be able to think about it and be like, maybe let's sit down. What you said was not right. So it's not always, mm -hmm. but it's in the heated situations. Mm -hmm. When you want to well, say you know something. it's just not gonna, it's gonna be the most unproductive conversation you can yes. have. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, yes. it's yeah. like, but it's like if so you, you start nagging, they literally like just it just turns it, off. Yeah, the, I I I don't think I've ever nagged Jordan into doing something, and if he did, he was pissed off. Yeah, and it yeah. wasn't out of like serving. It was no. just like just shush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so true. It's so true. God love keep. Love keeps no record wrong is so powerful. Because mm. we like make like this list in our head sometimes. Of like, yeah. you haven't done that. Don't make you a list. Been, yeah, you haven't been doing this for a while. Mm. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And just like, love just keeps no record wrong. I wrote this down on my phone also. Like, you can so easily see the dirt in your husband, but not many women can see the treasure. And it's your job mm. as the wife to pull it out. Mm. Yeah. Because when everyone's saying, oh, he's this, he's that. And even your friends are like, what's wrong with him? He's drinking a lot of beers recently. Or like, mm. when people get all religious on and be like, no, he's doing incredible, actually. And God's working in him. Mm. And I'm going to keep praying. Mm. That's why sometimes I ask women, I'm like, are you fighting for your marriage? Mm. Are you, what are you doing? Do you know the prophetic words of your husband's life? Mm. Because who's supposed to know them more than you? Mm. And who's going to pray them more than you? Mm. Maybe his mom. But don't you want to, don't you want his mom's prayers to be like the floor to your ceiling? Like, mm. Don't you want to take exactly. all his mom's prayers and go so much further with them? Mm. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Mm. Your husband's watching porn. What are you doing? Mm. Your husband's doing this. That, like, there's so much. What are you doing as a wife other than nagging? Mm. What are you doing? Because mm. <laughs> nagging's not going to get him to stop. No. <sighs> and that's so like, yeah. I love that. I love this conversation because we need it's to talk about it. And fast and I all the time I ask my friends, I'm like, when was the last time you fasted? And mm -hmm. they're like, no, but I'm afraid I'm going to do it because I want to lose weight. Okay, so don't fast food. I can't fast. We talked about this. Mm -hmm. I'm nursing. I can't fast food right now. It is not limiting why I'm fasting. I fasted more the last season than I have in a long time. Mm -hmm. Because it's not about the food. I could give it. You could fast food and watch Netflix all day. Mm -hmm. What has that done? Mm -hmm. You're fasting all day, but you're not filled with the spirit necessarily. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's find about something that takes your something. time. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, something. What, Go what, after what, it. what gets you on your face in the prayer closet? For me, it is food. Like that is a thing that absolutely drives me to my face all day. <laughs> like I have no other option other than just be at, in that place. Mm -hmm. But like it can it can literally be anything. Like uh, having fasted like the mirror before, or oh like my social gosh. media, oh, or shopping, anything. mirror. Um, <laughs> Uh, makeup, um, gosh, I could go on and on so many ran random, because to someone else it might not mean anything. Right. Yeah. But to what, me, what means, like, what, what, sleep. like for me, like makeup wouldn't be a thing, but for her it's a sacrifice. Like yeah. what, what are you saying, any sacrifice that you make? Fast negative words. Gosh, I fasted talking once from 24 hours and it was the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Try going to Trader Joe's and the nicest people saying hi to you or like someone trying to talk to you and you're just like. <sighs> wow. You're just like. That's the so doorman powerful. literally was like, hi, not, who's the sweetest man I oh, love he, him. He knows I you. I love him. Yeah. And he's like, I don't, I don't talk to him necessarily about Jesus and just every day we say hi to each other. And every day in. you're at Trader Joe's. Yeah. No, sorry. No, no. This is when we were living in Texas. Our doorman was the sweetest. Oh, man. oh, oh, oh. So we went to Trader. Okay. I'll preface this because this is actually a funny story. I, we were after Christmas, we're flying back to Texas and the Lord on the flight, I was just like, I feel like I talked really negatively mm. the last few days. Mm. And I just feel like I just didn't, I didn't speak life and I don't want to be a gossiper. It's just, I don't want to be a person that just, if I don't have anything I say, just don't say it. I mm. really want to live that out. Taming the tongue. Taming the tongue. And so the Lord was like, I feel like I was talking to the Lord about this. And I'm like, I don't know if the Lord said, or I was like, I'm not going to talk for 24 hours. So I asked him and I was like, I was like, babe, I don't know if I can do this, but I feel like the Lord's calling me to like a 24 hour fast of just not talking. Cause I, it's been, I feel like it's been a sucky season of me talking crap. And he was like, okay. So the next day trying to navigate with my two year old, how to, no, it was one and a half. So I'm just like trying to communicate with him. And then, um, that's and crazy. In the morning, I was frustrated. I was so That's, annoyed trying to do I'm the like laundry. I was trying to figure out how I could ever do it that. It was really hard. And then we go, and I was like annoyed. And man, I was trying to talk, but he was trying to give me a talk. 
he was being so goofy about it. He was like, Oh, it was no. so funny. But it was like, he was having fun with it. So I was like, okay, at least like, I don't know. At least he's not like judging. Like, why is she not talking? <laughs> he's just trying to be goofy about it. So I was like, okay, fair. So the day like progresses and I haven't said anything. And then we go to Trader Joe's and at Trader Joe's, I remember, um, I couldn't really say anything. So I just, at this point, I'm just like trying to keep my head down and just keep walking around. And then we get back and that was the, the hardest part was with this guy. Cause he was like, he's like, Hey Nava. And then Mano literally looks at him and says, my wife is fasting talking. So I'm sorry. And he was like, what? And he was like, yeah, she's fasting. God told her not to talk today. So he was like, <laughs> Oh wow. Okay. And he was, I get in the elevator and That's I'm just so like, funny. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so I get, funny. so I go upstairs and I remember like as the day like went by, literally, mm. it's just so powerful. Cause like at the end of the day, I realized so many times in the day I wanted to tell Sava and Amanda how much I love them Aww. and I couldn't. And I didn't realize how many times I tell them I love you throughout mm. the day. Aww. And so the end of the day came and like, I remember like uh, the fast was kind of coming to an end. And I remember I would just be like, wow, God, like we have so many days in a moment to tell our husband what we love about them, mm -hmm. what we, mm -hmm. and so many times in the morning when I was like frustrated, I could have said so many like stuff of like, why didn't you do this? Or mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like that every day, but just like little comments that sneak out. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, I was like, wow, God, all I wanted to do today was mm -hmm. talk to Gary, our doorman. <laughs> and <laughs> say hi to the people at Trader Joe's that were being so kind. Aww. And then, um, tell Zavin and Emmanuel how much I love them. Mm. And so like, like those like, were wow. the only things that you actually wanted to say. That was the only thing. That was like my biggest lesson of the day of like, mm -hmm. wow, every day I have an opportunity to speak life and you can't take words back. Mm -hmm. yeah. When something leaves your mouth, it's there. And he could remember it for the rest. Your husband could remember those words for the rest of his yeah. life. Mm -hmm. But he also has an opportunity for you to say something mm -hmm. every day that like, marks him mm -hmm. for the rest of his mm -hmm. life yeah. and that he could live every day being like wow this is what she sees in me and if we see that in them like they could walk around like on on clouds like being yeah. like, my wife thinks this about me so yeah. who cares like what jordan said to you yeah or that's my biggest encouragement to i really always ask wife. myself too like I love that. what kind of wife do i want to be yeah. like what kind of wife do i want him when he hangs out with his guy friend just like yes. oh y'all Melina did this <laughs> and all instead of being like uh -huh. oh Melina was talking my ear oh, off for 45 like thank god what i get to come out the boy what yeah. kind of yeah, yeah yeah for the longest time because jordan like loves his guy friends yeah and like for the longest time i'd be like no like yeah we haven't had a date night yeah, like, da -da -da -da. yeah. And i was like no like just let him go and it like means the world to him mm. and like he loves that so again mm. like they're not asking for much yeah they're really not yeah, yeah it's like Polo laundry <laughs> <laughs> and i've like i've heard but i've also like seen that like when when we are that way like they they want nothing more than to serve us and to do things for us yes and so, like it like ignites something in them where they're like yeah i'm a mayor not gonna go do yeah. this and they're like yeah. oh, we'll take the trash yeah. out I'll do all yeah. these things. seriously like, oh, built no. in the back yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they we'll see chop us some water <laughs> Yeah. We have this ache in us <laughs> to be those, to be those things, yeah. to be an incredible wife, to be yeah. an incredible mother, yeah. Yeah. to give our children really good food that we've picked, and like yeah. it's in us. Mm -hmm. And they want to build, they want to hunt. Yeah. One of you guys just said something. I, I forgot um, what it was, but something just came to my mind. Like you don't want to be, like you don't want other people, especially other women, to like compliment your husband more than you do. Come on. That's how affairs start. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at all saying it's a wife's fault. Like that is completely the sin of the man, and he is accountable to God before that. But like, if you, if he is at work with his coworkers who are constantly just being nice to him, yeah. because that's just like a basic yeah. human thing. Like, yeah. She's so yeah. good at this. You're so creative. Right. Yeah. Right. You're the yeah. boss. Maybe You're she's. The alpha. Maybe the other woman isn't even trying to. Yeah. She's not even. She already has a husband. Yeah. Family. She's not even yeah. concerned about yeah. anything. She's yeah. just being kind because. Maybe she's a Christian and she just wants to like encourage people. Mm -hmm. And then he comes home to a nagging wife who yeah. like con constantly no criticizes yeah. him, he constantly tells help. him all the things that he's doing wrong. Like he who probably do you already think? knows he's doing those things wrong. Right. <laughs> like right. What that? Yeah. I one thing that I recently changed in our household that I think has been really powerful that's really impacted the kids too. I don't know if I've told you this, but I shared it with Melanie. But 
Um, I was reading this book and this wife, this lady was like, it's not fun coming home to a nagging wife and like crusty kids. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was so funny because sometimes I'm so guilty of that. The kids will like be playing in the dirt and like, it's like they're like playing, but I've like tried to make a habit of like when Jordan comes home, like oh, to get the kids yes. excited, to be yes. like, Seth is coming home. Like, yeah. do you see him in the driveway? Okay, yeah. pick up. You're, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's all the way out the door and like, yeah, like run out to the driveway. Like, yeah. 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 Off the cheeks, the ketchup <laughs> off the eyes. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's clean up. Like, let's yeah. make sure it smells good. Like, what does that like to smell? Or yeah. like, maybe yeah. we can cut them up a little snack. Or like, yeah. just the mm -hmm. simplest. The but it, like, the kids get right. so yeah. excited because like they've gotten into that habit. That's like, so Ari will do that. He'll be like, that is coming out. And he like he starts pulling <laughs> stuff away. And, like, That's it's so girl. cute. And then Aww. when he comes home, like. Dada! Like it's fun. Like yeah. who wouldn't love to come home to that? Yes. Right. But like who also like think of the other spectrum yeah. of like coming home the and kids are dirty. Go get them. Get them. <laughs> yeah. They're your like throwing yeah. the baby. Yeah. Like I feel like there are days that I have and yeah. want to do that, and then yeah. other days I'm like, no, let me just like show him grace. Like yeah. how I don't know what his day looked like. No. Yeah. Like what if he had a That's really so hard day too? What, what if his day was ten times harder than yours? Yeah. yeah. Like. And then also like being content in the season that I'm in right now, like my job is this, yeah. you know, like yeah. this is work. It's yeah. hard yeah. work. Like it's so I saw hard. this study that was yeah. like, if you hired out someone to do all the jobs that a mom does, yeah. you would have to pay someone a million dollars a year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead serious. If yeah, you I'm had to hire lot, someone to do the laundry, if you had to yeah. someone to watch all the kids, if yeah. you had to watch someone to Clean, to babysit, to, um, to homeschool or yeah. like to do school, yeah. mm -hmm. to drop off and pick up, if you yeah. had to like pay that in Uber fees, if you had to like if you had to pay someone to do every mm -hmm. single task that you are doing every single day, just beautifully, yeah, six figures, <laughs> six figures, yeah. Like, isn't that insane? Yeah. And sometimes I had always like longed for Jordan to recognize that, and I was like, I don't need him to. The Lord sees everything right, that I'm it. doing. He sees it. My kids see it. Mm. The fruit is evident. I don't yeah. need a pat on the back for me. Wait, him. what's like, the Bible verse when it's like, if you seek others' approval, like that's the only approval you'll get? Oh, we just read that about? yesterday. I like. I know what you're saying. I. No it's, I don't know if it's the same about. one as like, don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing, no, or something not. like that, or if you seek approval for others, because we. Like, why you guys do that? We need also approval from our husbands. Like, I'm not saying we don't. But so many times when we go to the Father and just, you know, like, how do you see me? Mm. And I like, I don't know, I love yeah. putting instrumental music on, leaning back in my rocking chair, and just like, allowing him to like, speak. Just mm. like, how do you see me? You know mm. what I mean? And mm -hmm. out of that place, I'm able mm. to just move. Like, I know, for example, this is practical. I know that when I wake up, I'm a little cranky. I just am. So I know to be quiet. I go for a walk for like a 30, 40, I know not everyone can do this, but this is what helps me. 30, 45 minutes, I get out of the house, I go for a walk first thing in the morning, 6.30 a.m. I'm usually out on a walk. And I'm able to just like get all that yuck off of me. Like I don't know why. I sometimes wake up with this. I'm not perfect. I'm not. I'm, I'm really messy, but I figured out how to let God into my mess as a wife, as a mother. And he is helping me work through things. Mm. So I go for a walk and I mm. allow God as I'm walking to just speak to me mm. or I allow him to just kind of like cleanse me from whatever, I don't know, sometimes I have really nasty dreams or whatever mm. it is. I'm able to just get cleansed. And I come back in the door and I'm able to be like, okay. You feel fresh. I feel fresh. God has given me so much grace to just start again. Mm. Let's start again. Mm. Let's start doing this. Let's start doing that. So, mm. um, and move around as a wife and as a mother. Because whatever is, have you ever noticed that when you're going through stuff, your kids are too? Oh, yeah. Like, you'll be going through so much, like, something intense inside, like anxiety or, like, panic or what a stress. And suddenly everyone around the house is just, like, knocking into each other. The house is a mess. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it, we affect the atmosphere. Oh, We're yeah. the gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, sorry, you were looking for a verse, but I, I was just thinking about that, why you guys were doing that. I found it. I mean, it's more so, I'll, I'll just read it. It says, watch out, don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose a reward from your Father in heaven. When you give to someone a need, don't do as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and streets to call attention to their acts of charity. I tell you the truth, they have received all the reward they will ever get. 
Huh. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your hands know, no, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in private, and your father who sees everything oh, yeah. will reward you. Mm -hmm. So obviously, this is talking more so about like giving to the needy and giving to the poor and stuff. But I feel like I don't know. I feel like it could tie home. into marriage. Like if you're doing things just for your husband's approval and just for him to see everything, it's like mm -hmm. when he's like, "Yeah, good job, babe," and he's like, "Not like, whoa, good job, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. It's like yeah. that can let it affect your whole entire yeah. day. Yeah. 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 Or like a way of manipulation too, because Jackie Hill Perry and her husband did a talk on submission, and she kind of talked about that too. She was like, cooking oh, for your husband yeah. and like doing yeah, this yeah. like is not always like a sign of submission because yeah. some women use that to like manipulate and control them too. So yeah. it's like there's a very like, fine line like doing things just so they'll he comes back yeah. or like or yeah. just so they can get something out of it. Yeah, yeah because like, they're actually wanting to serve him. Right guard your heart like what are your intentions and like only you that's between you and the lord yeah. and that's like the biggest thing that i like want people to that's know it's so like good. you know we are all aware of like where we can be better like, oh my gosh we are all well aware of that yeah but it's like what what are you going to do with that fire like what are you going to do with that roar are you going to let it out yeah. are you like yeah. are you, what are you going to yeah. do different because yeah. all it takes like is one literally you can shut this off and do one thing different and then yeah. it's so much easier to yeah. do another thing and then another thing like it is truly such like a habitual thing like mm -hmm. in the beginning when i was trying to tame my tongue in the beginning when i was trying not to nag as much it was so hard <laughs> and still is hard yeah. yeah but once i got oh better at it it like became easier mm -hmm. and then easier and then easier and like things just brush over like yeah. mm -hmm. you just it becomes it like a become habitual easier. thing yeah. and then you're like Wow, I didn't complain today, and what when I would have probably complained twenty five times, you yeah. know, like mm -hmm. the, in the atmosphere, like we it's laughed so, so much more today, or like oh, that, the yeah. kids did this so much yes. more, today. like yeah. it just everything gets affected and changed by one difference of a thing that you did or didn't it's do. It's so true. And if you can love your husband well, I believe your kids will be able to love their husband well. Yeah. Because they could be like, mom, that's that. like the most convicting thing. Yeah. It's like the example yes. that we set for the kids mm -hmm. of like what I, yeah. Subconsciously or yes. not, like Alethea's constantly watching what yeah. we're doing. And like, I'll even notice, like, if I say something to Jordan, I'll hear her say it to him later. Yeah. She'll be like, You're such a good dad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, this going to make me cry. She'll do that yeah. all the time. Come it's on. so sweet. Just so oh. cool. But she'll also do the not so yeah. sweet stuff. Yeah. Oh no. So then it's like, oh, shut your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say that. And you're no, like, oh, no, no, me. No, I. No, that's to me. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like tame your tongue. Yeah. yeah. They are listening to you. Yeah. Your little sponges. That's so good. Yeah. And then they think that's how they should. Like, yeah. That's what. Th yeah. That is their reality. Yes. That's exactly. that's what they know. That's so it's so like good. they don't know anything different so they think oh this is love yeah are we showing them what first corinthians yeah. says about love or are yeah. we showing them what the world says yeah. about love yeah or what our flesh wants to say about love yeah. and it's so if, it's so, if that so isn't good. convicting enough like to me i think a lot changed once we started yeah. having our right. kids because then someone's it's like, watching yeah you got an audience yeah. you got you got yeah. bleachers all day long yeah. just sitting there so it's like Ooh. and one day when they look back you don't want them to think of all the other couples around them that did marriage so good other yeah. than, than us. I want my kids to look up to our story. Yeah. I want my kids to it, for it to set a standard of this mm -hmm. is what I want. I want my my son to look for women like me. Yeah. And I say that with so much humility. Like mm -hmm. I want him to look for a woman like me because I feel like I could fully say I love my husband well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, yeah. And like, you want Ari to look for a woman like you? Yeah. That because was like my biggest like, conviction Jesus. with modesty too. Yeah. It was like, I want him to be attracted to a woman who like fears the Lord. Yeah. You know, like yeah, that yeah. he just like doesn't even like yeah. the like, and that's the thing about modesty that I think can be so beautiful. It's like, you don't even look at what I'm wearing. That yeah. like yeah. is so irrelevant. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. But it you're attracted to like how I show Jesus or like so you know so I feel like for me especially just having a son I feel like there's just there's such an attack on men and so oh I try gosh. like raising a son I think is so powerful we could do a whole yeah raising sons oh, oh my gosh. gosh we could do a whole video about what God's teaching us about raising a boy in this time and age yeah Okay, you guys remind me of something. So I heard it from this um, author once. She, her and her husband make, they write books about marriage and um, 
motherhood and fatherhood and all the things and she said the story once on one of her blogs I was saying like one of her daughters was like eight or nine years old and they were out in public and um, she, her daughter saw like a married couple like arguing they were just arguing like yelling and like blah blah and then um, her daughter was like mom like what are they doing what are they doing She's like, oh, they're like arguing. She's like, what? That was the first time she ever saw a married couple argue and like yell at each other. Wow. She didn't know what it was. She was nine years old. She's never even seen her parents argue or yell at each other. Wow. And her mom was like, yeah, people do that all the time. She's like, what is that? Why are they doing that? That's, Isn't that insane? That's there's beautiful. Definitely it took her nine to years well, yeah. that is to see that like people yell when they argue. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. I think someone said talks about that how to fight well in marriage like you're gonna come into arguments you're going mm -hmm. to get frustrated with each other you're going but how do you do it well mm -hmm. how do you how do you do it how do you do, do it you well can you tell me? yeah can you, you know what <laughs> <laughs> write this down <laughs> i feel like kind words yeah i feel like holding back just really holding back and being able like when a sense of like oh i could say this one time i told we were dating and i told Emmanuel we were arguing about something I called an a-hole and <laughs> and he came this close up to me and he said we will never talk to each other like that oh. I've never had someone do that wow. he came that close to my face and said with the most confidence and like and like wow he said we will never talk to each other like that and to be honest we have been so I mean obviously we have slip ups but it's been like this place of like holiness Mm. Like of like that's no, what it means to reverence will, your husband. Yeah, you we will protect mm. our family, and I know the D word, like the divorce word, <laughs> doesn't come up, but even like protecting words against him, mm. like so I feel like fighting well is just like not talking about it in the moment. Mm -hmm. Walk away, go go do something else. Yeah. It's I, so much more productive. Space. Yeah, talk to God about why, why, because a lot of the times. Something a little piss me off in that moment. It's just because I'm going through something in that moment. Yeah, I deal with a lot of like fear. Like and there may be something else going on, and he's not what's bothering me. It's mm. something inside of me that and he's that just, just rubbing. Like the tip of so yeah, I, you leave and you forget about it. But yeah. something that's reoccurring that's really hurting you, mm. like something specific. A man would say sometimes when we would argue, really hurt me, mm. and I really had to come to him in so much humility and be like this really hurts when you say this mm -hmm. and you keep saying it and it's really mm -hmm. hurting me can you please stop mm -hmm. and in that moment i was able to impact his heart mm -hmm. and he actually being like stop listened. saying that yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and be like okay you're, you might say it again but we're gonna work through this again yeah you know what i mean like mm -hmm. we're we're covenant yeah. he's not yeah. my boyfriend we're in covenant mm -hmm. we're we're in this for life mm -hmm. and we're gonna get through this together mm -hmm. whether it's me going through something him going through something extending grace but are you you know in a way that's just honoring not name calling, mm -hmm. not pushing under the bus, not doing anything, just really explain to your heart what's frustrating you. Mm -hmm. And we don't always do it well. And that's why, like, for me, it's been so beautiful being able to be like, God, teach me how to hold back, mm -hmm. but in the right moments, let it out. Yeah. I feel like for me, mm -hmm. speaking to him, how I, like, speak to my toddlers, because I show them so much grace yes. and give them so much time. Like, you don't talk to a two-year-old yeah. and tell them what they're yeah. doing is wrong yeah. when they're in the middle of their tantrum. Like, yeah. that, that, like, we, everyone knows not to do that. Like, yeah. you know to let them finish. Yeah. You know to let them yeah. cool off because they're, like, their mind, they're, like, in literal fight-or-flight mode. Yeah. Yeah. And so for me, I really feel like I had to approach it like that. Like, oh, well, obviously he's upset. Let him yeah. simmer down yeah. and then we can talk. Simmer because down. then... Then we're both calm, and it's yeah. like so much more productive when we're both calm yeah. and not like just just like. It's funny because God's been using Jor God's been using Jordan to train me to be a wife. I love that. I, I'm so serious. There's been so many instances where. Well, you're just like around. It's, it's mainly like stuff having to do with the dogs. <laughs> That's pretty much all it is. There. I mean, I'm not gonna get into it, but like, I will get so frustrated, and I like. There's so many times where I just want to text him or I want to call him or I want to like, or Why on the phone or like, I want to say something to him and like every, I feel like almost every time I've held my tongue or I'll like, I'll take the dogs for a walk and I'll just walk and I'll just talk to God. I'll just uh -huh. tell God like, Lord, this is how I feel. God, 
please, you're the one that actually has the power to change this. Yeah, please yeah. be the one that changes this. Like, mm -hmm. please. And like, I give these dogs to you and it's like, <laughs> I seriously, this happens very I often. Know, I know. And um, I just won't say anything. And like, he'll come home and I'll be like, hi, like, yeah. how's your day? And yeah. it's like, how different would that yeah. been? Yeah. And it's cool because yeah. like, he doesn't even know that that yeah. affects He doesn't know way. anything. So no that idea. I can actually continue our like, yeah. good yeah. relationship because yeah. like, I didn't say anything that I yeah. regretted. Like, he doesn't I even know like it affected me, minute. and like that's fine, because like I don't have to take it. Why would you just say take it to the Lord? That say you're sweeping stuff under the rug. I'm giving it to the Lord. I'm not that's sweeping so under the rug. rug. I'm, yeah. It's not like I'm holding it in. The I'm dirt. I am completely yeah. releasing it to God. Yeah. Because He's the one that can actually do something yeah. about it. Yeah. I'm not holding. I'm. I. I can't hold it in. I mean, yeah. I. I can't hold things in with the Lord. Like. I, yeah. Like He knows everything, so I just like that's why I go on the walks. So I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> like I'd rather do that with the Lord. Yeah, and I feel like when he, when I, even I'm married too. Like if I have so many things, like yes, I think there should be things that I take to my husband. But like I want to just lay it all out on the Lord. Like I don't want to just lay out everything on my husband all the time. Like I think there yeah. is a place for that. Like yeah. that you should tell him how things yeah. you feel and yeah. all the yeah. things. But like I think just like the daily, all day things that like are just coming up. That like I feel like I just have to continue lay that on the Lord. And if there is yeah. something that the Lord wants me to take to my husband then like I can take that to him after I've already processed things and like yes. I'm thinking clearly and I I actually know how I feel because sometimes I don't even know how things affect me until I process them with the yes. Lord yeah so yeah. I think a yeah. huge thing that also helped us was when I treated Jordan like my husband and he treated me like his wife mm. instead of me treating him like a girlfriend yeah and yes. him treating me like a bro yeah yes and I think you that, have your girlfriends to do girlfriend stuff with yes <laughs> and like mentor. The, no and yeah. at his no but don't treat me like a bro yeah uh, if there's one thing <laughs> uh, don't talk to me like two bros okay like like that what does that and, mean like how would you talk to you like I don't know like he would want me to like enjoy stuff that like he enjoys or like I think there's like a fine line between like doing stuff together and like going out of your comfort zone to enjoy something it's your husband enjoys yes time. there's a time for that but then I also think there can be that line crossed where like I would treat him like a girlfriend yeah. and would yes. be like <gasps> he's like I, uh, it's I uh, he like literally would be like I don't I understand that. Yes. you know yeah but like that was so something that I could have talked with my girlfriend yeah about but, but I feel she like even would that, have like take everything to the Lord first everything everything yes, everything yes. and then the Lord will lead you like to who to like, talk to speak to this like speak to your husband about this like he yeah. has something that I will give him that will yes. actually help you or like tell mm -hmm. Nava this because she has a piece of wisdom that I will give her that helps yeah. you through yeah. this like that's why yeah. you're made for community but I think like with anything like even with your mentors like I don't even think you should be going to them absolutely first like no. take everything to the Lord first and then he'll guide you and direct you like here's or like go to this person or go to this mm -hmm. person because I have something like for you through them yes so mm -hmm. yeah but yeah with the girlfriend's thing He's not your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I am not a bro. And it's so good because, like, you really can't take words back. And that's such an important part. And when you're mm -hmm. taking all those words and you're first giving them to God, mm -hmm. he's like, okay, well, why don't you talk about that? Mm -hmm. That is a good That, that, kind that of is something that he hurts you. Allows you to prune through Yes. Them. Or look, Nava, your dad used to say something similar when you were a kid. Mm. Maybe that's why it's triggering you. Tell him yeah. why. Yes. Tell him what's triggering right. you. Yeah. When you do that, it frustrates me because, like, and then you're able to have a conversation out of wisdom yes. and not out of emotion. Yes. Mm. You know exactly. what I mean? Because, because you've already given that emotion to the Lord. Because they don't get the emotional part. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, is, there's one thing, do you know when you're crying? They're like, why are you crying? Yes. <laughs> and you're like, I am mad. I'm not sad. I'm no. mad. Or when you don't know why you're crying. Yes, and then he asks that question and then that pisses me off. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. And then he's like, wow, you're a hot mess. Yeah. And, like, and then God created a woman like that for, like, God created a woman like that. That is not a weakness. That is no, not like, a weakness. That's yeah. not purpose not exactly. exactly. woman like this. But you know what? You're... Use, I keep saying this to women, use your tears wisely. Mm -hmm. Go before the Lord, yeah. use those tears and be like, I God, I feel like the enemy is knocking our marriage around like a bulldozer. Mm -hmm. And I need you to show up and I need you to fix the way I see the situation because I mm -hmm. can't change it. Mm -hmm. And it's like that moment where you're saying, just word vomit on God because he can handle it. Yes, and that's, that's when he becomes a little bit more than the place of your husband. Yes. And not, so many of us can talk about it, but who actually 
is putting God above your husband. Mm. That's the moment. Because he is that best friend you run to. Mm. Of like, wait, wait. And you know what? He'll never have... I just posted this on my Instagram. He'll never have a phone in his hand. He'll never mm. say, come back later. He'll never say, this isn't a good time. He's, he'll never be taking a nap. He'll ne- He's mm. always available mm. for your word vomit. Mm. To be like, this is how I feel. This is what mm. makes me feel. Yeah. And then you're able to just do all that. And then he just refines it. So when you're able to go to your husband, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not trying it's to be so much perfect for a husband, but we're just mm-hmm. trying to be like Jesus to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's hard. Mm-hmm. Being a godly wife is so hard. It's it so takes so much discipline. Mm-hmm. And but it's discipline that there's reward for. Mm-hmm. There's so much reward in a disciplined wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's so much reward in you a woman that's wise. Yeah. The Proverbs 31 you. wasn't it wasn't about her being perfect. Mm-hmm. She was refined. She and was you know, daily being refined. She was busy. She was busy. Oh. What I love. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, should I, not go? No, I think you should say it. She was so busy. Yeah. She's busy with her hands. Her hands. Like, she she had, I don't think she didn't have time to worry about the the. She the didn't have time stuff. to care about what she you had She had grain that had to be sold. Ruminate she had, on like, the... She had kids that she had to sew nude stuff for. Like, she was yeah. busy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she didn't have she time was, to ruminate on all of the things that her husband wasn't doing, and she didn't have time to think about what this other wife and was, she was doing a or wasn't doing. Mom. She yeah. was a busy stay-at-home mom. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be busy to go to work. Mm. You could be a busy stay-at-home mom. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. That your mind is busy mm-hmm. creating for your family, mm-hmm. nurturing them, mm-hmm. working what you have. Yeah. yeah, there's something so beautiful about creating with your hands and like the patience of making stuff. Yes. Because then you're just so focused on that. Like these la- like the last couple of weeks, like making bread has been such an intimate time with the Lord because I'm that. just sitting there. Yeah, like, you process. Yeah, I'm like, I have I have time to think. And like there's a saying, like when you're working with your hands, like you just your mind allow like allows you to go to places you normally wouldn't. Like yeah. but if you're just like aimlessly, mindlessly doing yes. stuff, like you of course you have time to dwell in yeah. negativity. Of course you yeah. have time to like think about who else what else someone else is doing you're like i don't know i think it's so mind-boggling to me that people care what other wives are doing yeah or like have like care yeah like i just yeah it's so weird to me but keep your hands busy yeah because it's good practical work yeah Yeah. (laughs) i think that's great advice i think it's really good advice Uh i think being in your home the last few days has inspired me to like, this is what I, I really enjoy doing this stuff. Mm. I really enjoy creating for my family. Mm. I really want to like, it's so fun. Even yeah. like I had pants that needed to be sewn and, um, Melanie had like her little kit in her bag mm. and I was like, I don't have my kit. And you know what? We're able to like exchange stuff. Like we're able yeah. to think about, do you have your oil in your purse? Like you have your anointing oil in your purse mm-hmm. and she can be like, do you have your sewing kit? Cause like I needed something to be sewn and I didn't have to go and get and to have someone else do it. I can do it. Mm. I have two I have one of my friends, her hand is like a little disformed. And a lot of times when I'm doing something where I'm like, I don't know, I'm picking something up after Zab or I'm doing, hanging something up. I always think how much my friend would want to do that. Wow. How much my friend wished she had two good, healthy hands. Wow. And it's so beautiful because like you can do so much with mm-hmm. your tongue, with your hands, for your family, to bring life, to do it. But you can also wreck the house with it. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's such a good practical. Like let's... Mm-hmm. Let's use our hands. Let's use our tongue what to create life. What are you using your, your hands home. for right now? Like, yeah, that's so are good. you using it to create yeah. life? You build it up yeah. your home or you're tearing yeah. it down. Yeah. Yeah, it's really simple. Well, same with your tongue. Are you speaking life or death? Yeah. Because yeah. you'll speak lo- death over your kids, yeah. over your house, yeah. over your marriage, over yeah. like quite literally anyone around yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. And it's destructive. Yeah. And it's contagious. And it's exactly what the enemy wants. Mm-hmm. It's contagious. You have it him is. You can be contagious you're in his hands. Negativity. I don't want to be in his hands. Yeah. I ask the kids that all the time. I'm like, who are you following? Yeah. Is it Jesus? Yeah. Or is it the devil? I love that you ask, um, at least I ask two her things. questions. But there's two things she oh, does. Oh, yeah. What her job is? Yeah. What's your job? <laughs> so I, my kids have two jobs. It's really, really simple. Love it. They have two jobs to play and to obey. Mm-hmm. That is all yeah. they have to yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. Play and obey. They need to have fun. Yeah. They need to be Because when they play, they learn. Yeah. Like, play is learning for them. Like, this age, but they also have to obey. Like, you can't just be, like, a naked maniac. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Running all around. You gotta (laughs) gotta, gotta obey, too. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. So but then good. you get to play. Like it's those are the only two things I require. Yeah. Them. Yeah. That's it. I'm not asking you to make yeah. bread. No. <laughs> and my last piece of advice before I finish this is find marriages around you that mm -hmm. are thriving. Mm -hmm. And I'm hang not out saying with hang out with those people. And the women, the mothers, the the wives that talk so negatively about their husband, their kids. Stay, stay away, from, away them. from them. Stay away from them. There's stay room for friendship. For like to you to encourage, but not on a weekly basis. And even basis, single women, like even if yeah. you have single women who are like talking. I mean, before before God fixed my heart, I was even looking at marriage in a negative way. And I wasn't. Yeah. Even, I didn't even have a husband yet. I already had bitterness and resentment that was building up in my heart towards my mm -hmm. husband until the Lord like completely cleansed me of that. I didn't realize I had it. But even single women, like find women who are excited to serve their husbands, and who are life. excited to do life with those women. Who, yeah, like find them mm -hmm. and do life with them. Yeah, go to their house, make bread with them. Like if 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 a woman at church saw something in Melena, like I know that if a woman messaged you like, can I come make bread with you? You'd be like, sure. Mm -hmm. Like come over, make bread, and then maybe she has something else to do and go. But like do something, mm -hmm. be around women, because yeah. I now can say, I there's a few couples I could point out that I love the way they do marriage, mm -hmm. and I remember when I was single and I'd go stay with them, go live with a couple that you love, mm -hmm. ask them, at least ask them, mm -hmm. like if you have the summer off this summer and you're a single girl, and you know they have an extra room, just ask, can I come live with you guys for the summer, like do that, mm -hmm. and then you could learn so much so that you don't have to much. go through. Like, why do you have to go through stuff that someone already could tell you not to do that? I feel and like you, you will do it. <laughs> like, un un unintentionally, I've done that. With you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, you know now. Hey, that doesn't work. Yeah. Or, like, I remember For I sure. stayed with this couple, and at night, I would hear them giggling in their bed. Aww. And I know that, and I asked, I was like, why do you guys laugh every night? And she said, we intentionally, like, watch, they watch funny, like, videos or uh -huh. memes or Aww, memes, so whatever they're called. Or, like, stuff, I think they think, like, dogs or cats, whatever. Some funny <laughs> videos on YouTube. And I, every night I heard them giggling. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's how I want to go to sleep. Yeah. And I took something from their life and I was like, I wrote it into my heart of, like, mm -hmm. this is the kind of marriage I want. Mm -hmm. I want to giggle when we go to sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want us to be able to find each other in the evenings and giggle and go to sleep on a happy mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just practical stuff. Don't let the sun they go do down life your together. Anger. Mm -hmm. yeah, find those couples and cling to them and stop spending time with the people that are always negative about their children and their husband. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stay away. You don't need to be with Stay them. Stay away and pray for them. Mm -hmm. Unfollow them. There's so Unfollow them. That's There's so, so many on Elena. Instagram. It, you don't have time. You don't have time. And even if they're joking about it, it's not funny. No. Why are we laughing about funny. this? It's, it's not, not funny. It's anymore. not funny. No. You no. don't have time for that. Yeah. No. You don't have time for that. Your marriage doesn't have time for that. Don't be a don't perfect wife. That. Be a loving wife. Live out the word love. Yeah. May love be a verb that's used, not just a word in your life. Make it a verb. Give it legs. That's my oh, advice. That's for so you. Give it legs. Give it legs. <laughs> that is so good. Not just a word. It has, it has, to, it has to run around. Make it run. Yeah. I mean, oh. Try to chase that. it around your house. Yes. I love that. Well, it's so good. Bad. Well, I hope you guys feel encouraged and not condemned or yeah. judged because yeah. we are just speaking i mean they're speaking about things that they've done not well and still do like i'm working <laughs> I'm working yeah. on all those things yeah mm -hmm. i suck some days as a while i mean the only reason mm -hmm. that i feel like you guys are able to talk about it is because you leave you've done it wrong yeah. and you the lord has shown you how to <laughs> yeah. do it right and now you're doing it right and yeah. you've so learned true. we're yeah. trying to show you guys that like that like you don't have to make the you same you don't have to mistakes. be stuck you don't have to be stuck literally yeah. make do one thing different after this yeah, yeah. one thing that's yeah. and then it'll be easier to do the next yeah. and the next and the next yeah. and the next and then your husband's be like whoa who's this <laughs> i'm seeing stuff with my husband now that i pray for i'm oh, seeing yeah. lot, like like even like this morning he came in and he was like he had such a good zoom call oh like, yeah he was so he happy was so happy Aww. but like i'm his person like he doesn't he literally went buddy. right to you yeah. it was so cute he, he was like getting with his coffee and like, yeah which was great because like <laughs> and i know that i've been praying for my husband like crazy mm. he's living out prayers and i can confidently say i know god's answering the prayers mm. and i know he's able to walk Amen. in favor because i mm. constantly pray for favor for him mm. so like Live out like altar so call. Much. Yeah, like <laughs> pray, pray, Just pray. Just Please spend time and pray, prayer. woman. Ugh. Jordan and I did a podcast <laughs> and they were asking so many questions and I answered to every question. I was like, pray. And Jordan's like, okay. Yeah, I was like, else. what else you want me to say? Yeah. Ugh. Pray without ceasing. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't even know how impactful that is. Because when you're praying, you're also not talking. Yeah. And it like gives you a chance to yes. tame the tongue. Yes. It's a practice. Come on. Oh, I feel like we could talk for hours. Yes. We can literally talk I for think hours. We're, but I for miss your you guys. Oh, no. I know. Hopefully next time we can do a video in Israel. 
Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. That'd be wonderful. Mm. I'll just have to fly Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Just tell me when and when. Yeah. <laughs> tell me when. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>